back to my greenhouse. It's nice and tidy now, so now it's time to start planting. So today I've got some seeds that I want to plant, so I'm going to bring you along with my little journey. My mini mean will be joining me later because she wants to plant sweet peas. She's desperate to plant some more sweet peas. We've got loads already, but you know, you can have, have too many sweet peas. So she's going to come down and do those later. She's watching a movie at the moment. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to plant some seeds. So I'm going to start off some half hardy and some hardy annuals and I've got a biannual here too. So I'm in Cornwall so we can start a little bit earlier. It's been quite warm the last couple of days. It's around the middle of February now so I'm going to start and I'm going to put these over the top as well in the greenhouse so they'll have the little lids over and we'll see how it goes. Um, so what have I got? No, I can't say this one so I've, it's called Klim, Klimo, Klimo? I'm really rubbish with names. So I've got this one to do. I've never grown this before, so um, I saw this on the Seat of Ask course. It was a white one though. This is a pink one, but we're gonna try this. Um, I've got the Shasta Daisy. And someone recommended this to me on the um, Seat of Ask course too, because the garden that I'm doing here, which I've just started this cut flower garden, is very close to the woods next door. So in the summer, I do get sun here for like half the day, but by five o'clock, we've got no sun. It's shaded up. We've got like a, I think it may be north facing. I need to check that actually. But it's by five o'clock, we've got no sun in any of our gardens, which is a real shame. Um, so I normally go to the allotment for the uh, for the evening because it's really sunny over there. Um, what have I got here? This is from Chilton Seeds. So what I do with the Chilton Seeds, because I like their seeds, um, I cut the pictures out of the catalogues and stick them on. So I know what they look like, because otherwise you get the seed packet and you're like, what is it? I can't remember. Um, so this is my um, Snapdragons. That's those. Um, that's another Chilton Seas. And this is called Pimpinella Major. Um, it's like an Ami, but it's pink. Let's see the one here. It's the pink, this pink one. Um, I just saw it in the catalogue and I thought it looked quite pretty. So I've not grown that either, but I'm going to try that. And then I've got some Dorcas Carota. Oh, I really rubbish at names, so I think that's what that's called. It's like a purple. This is like the purpley one. Um, yeah, on. Oh, the other thing I'm going to try, or I've done it before, is soil blocking. So I might give you a quick, sh um, I'll show you how to use the soil blockers. So I like using these because they just, I mean, you think that's 20 in that little block. Um, and that fits in my hand, so you can think how many you can get in a seed tray. So all of these were started in soil blocks um, back in... 30th of August look I've actually put dates that I've actually labeled and dated something I'm really impressed with myself so they started off in those and then what I have actually got a bigger soil block but I didn't use it in the end I just used the trays because I had loads of trays spare and it was just easier at the time to stick them in trays but I have got some more a bigger soil block which has got like a little indentation the size of one of these so what you do is you take this little soil block out and you put it in the indentation there's no pricking out no nothing because I am really bad at pricking out so anything that makes planting things easier, like the soil blocks, is good for me. So I'm going to get on with this. I think it's hair back time now. So the first thing we need to do is we need to sieve our compost. So I just use multi-purpose compost. Um, and because of that, um, it needs to be sieved. Um, otherwise... You get big lumps in it and then the seeds don't like to grow with the big lumps so i always wear gloves i have to wear gloves don't know why <laughs> okay so let's get some right. well, this is quite damp so let's see if this goes through okay into a pot so 
something that you can be used at a later time. So this could easily, so these bits could easily go out in the um, on the raised beds out there as well. So that's fine. Don't waste anything. Okay, so uh, I've done that a couple of times now. So we're making this for the soil blocks. So the next thing you need is some vermiculite. Um, so I just get mine from Wilco's. It's a bit like making a cake for soil blocks. Um, I just play it by ear, really. To be honest, there's no, no. I don't think there's any actual correct way of doing this. Um, there's lots of information on the soil block it soil block site. Um, I got them from the site called Soil Blockers. Um, that's where I ordered mine from. Then you get like a little pack that comes with all the. I bought the pack that came with everything that you needed to do it. Okay, so I'm not going to need to add too much water because you need it to be able to form. Um, in the summer, you might need to add a bit more water. I may have put a bit too much vermiculite in, but I think we'll be all right because we are starting off seeds, so I think we'll be okay. Okay, I'm going to add just a tad of water to it. Just a little bit. Oh. <laughs> Bit do you like baby? Just to get done with having a rose on that, but there we go. Okay, so as I said, it's just like making a cake, it's like baking. Really fun. I actually really like making soil blocks, just to I think it's just one of those childhood things, isn't it? It's like making mud pies. So, so I'm quite glad I'm doing it without little mini me. Otherwise, we'd never get anything done. She'd be all day doing this. Okay. So, the consistency. I'm not sure if it's going to hold. It might need to be a bit done. No, that should be right. There you go. So, you need to be able to ball it. Because, obviously, it's got to go in the soil blocker. Um, this compost is a little bit fibery because it's a, um, a peat-free compost. And I find the peat-free compost are a bit fibery than the peat ones but obviously I'm going away from peat completely this year because I'm trying to be as eco-friendly and environmentally friendly as possible so it's a big no-no for me okay so you get the soil blocker and then you get a big pile and you push it in I don't know if this will work I'm not sure this is the right Consistency. Oh yeah, no, it's working. And then what you want to do is you want to push it in. Don't push this because this will just pop them out. So you're going to push them in, and then just take off the bottom. And then we'll get our tray. Now this tray, as you can see, would take. Oh, what have I done with it? This one. Okay, so this is a. 40 cell tray so normally you'd have 40 little seedlings in this this is 20 so you can see the difference okay so and then all you do is you push it down and you push the handle and up and that's your soil blocks and see there's 20 little seedlings there see how many i can get in a tray now as you can see on the bottom they've got little pimples on the bottom so there's little indentations in the little in the compost so that's where you put your seed and then you either just sprinkle a bit of compost over the top or you sprinkle a bit of vermiculite so i'm going to go ahead and do a few more of these and fill this tray up right let's get going So that's them done look perfect little squares and there's 160 in there opposed to the 40 they would have got in so as you can see for people on um, a small scale like me and probably quite a few of you are growing in 
um, little greenhouses and things, especially if you've got one of those zippy greenhouses. Think how many more seeds you can get going with the soil blockers. Now we need to put the seeds in. So let's move this out the way. Oh, all over it. Okay, so what are we going to plant? I think we will try. So I've got enough here. So I'm thinking if I do 40 of each flower, I can get four different types in here. So that's good for me. So we're going to start with the Shasta Daisy. Okay, so open up the packet. The seeds. Luckily they're not too small because if they're really small sometimes they're a bit difficult to do. So we'll start put one or two in each in each little one. Or three. <laughs> Which is what just happened. But it's okay, we can get them out in a minute if I'd put too many in. I'm not overly worried at this point. Because I can always prick out the um weakest anyway so that's what my sunday consists of sowing seeds today and i know that i'll be down here again in a minute to do sweet peas with amber she is desperate to do sweet peas but if you want to know how to do sweet peas i have done a youtube uh, youtube video on sweet peas and how to grow them in root trainers um and I'll show you the root trainer. So that's those in. And then it says two. So so finny and seed trays do not cover seed with compost. There we go. So that's all we need to do with those ones. So these are my these are the root trainers. So I've, I use these root trainers. Um and they just click together. Um and it just makes the roots go down. But if you're interested, I have got a, um, I'll put a link below this to my other um, video for you to have a look at. But we're going to do those later, but I won't video that because I've already done it. Okay, so I've been joined by many me who want to do a sweet peas. So I've finished planting my seeds. So I've got um, the ones we did, the Shasta Daisy. I've got the Dorcas Karata. I'm really rubbish at the name. I've got some actual wild carrot, which I saved from a seed head I found in the hedgerow, done. And then I've put that Clemo, Clemo, oh, I don't know what that is called, but I'm gonna try that, that pink one. Um, so these last two just need to be covered with vermiculite. Oh, hang on a minute, no, no, hold on, I'll let you do this. So we're just gonna cover it up because they just need, they just need the light to be blocked. And then so we'll just put this on and this is light enough and it also retain, retains a bit of moisture which is why we put it in the um, in with the compost. So and then all we're going to do is put a lid on. Can I put the lid on? Yep. So I don't. Yep. You can put the lid on. So I don't need to water these because I've I put I put water in the compost so it doesn't need to be on. And all we'll do is we'll put this over on the shelf and we'll leave it for a week or so and see what happens. Can I do my sweet peas now? Yes, you can do your sweet peas. Yes. So if, um, <laughs> she's very excited about doing sweet peas. Obviously, if these look like they're drying out, I will water them. But other than that, I shouldn't need to do too much with them. So we've got them here. 